Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I am bringing you another fake dolls video. This has slowly become one of my most popular series of videos, so if you haven't seen the other fake doll videos I've made, please don't forget to check out the playlist. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description. But anyway, fake dolls. We've all seen them, they sell them at like Poundland, and sometimes sellers on eBay um, try and pass them off as genuine dolls. And I have three fake dolls to unbox today. We have a beautiful, not Barbie, a beautiful doll. We have a Frozen 2 doll. This one literally just says Frozen 2. They've completely stolen the logo. And this one might be my favorite. When I ordered her, I didn't realize she was gonna be so colossal. Didn't realize she was gonna be such a big doll. But this is a Happy Girls fo fo Focus. Happy Girls Focus doll. And the reason why I felt like I had to show you guys this doll was because her logo is basically like Hannah Montana mixed with the Cheetah Girls, um, which I thought was quite funny. Since I've already got her here, let's start with this doll. Now they are clearly trying to ride the coattails of Hannah Montana's success a couple years ago. Well, actually it's probably been quite a while now, hasn't it, since Hannah Montana was popular. Gosh, I'm old. On the side, there's this image. I feel like this doll must be quite old because some of the fashions shown in these images are so out of date. Up here it says new, new, angel, fab, on the back, there is that Happy Girls Focus logo. It says Pop Fashions. No, it doesn't. It says Pop Fashions. Fashions. Um, as you can see, they've accidentally swapped the S and the A. It says Style, Vogue, Fashion, spelt properly here. There's another image uh, of this girl wearing a truly hideous outfit. At the bottom here, it says Fashion Smell. Fashion smell? Is she meant to smell? Um, anyway, my fashion vogue style, exclamation mark. It says, doll cannot stand alone. Fashion and decorations may differ from shown. Dolls sold separately, um, made in China. I have to say, spelling mistakes on these doll boxes is a common theme with these fake bootleg dolls. And I don't blame the manufacturers. They're probably having to design these boxes on a very cheap budget in a foreign language. Um, but it is quite funny. This side of the box is very similar. Now there's like a try me button here. And I can't read that word, but that says music. So when I bought this doll, I thought she was going to play music. And I was really excited to see what kind of song she plays. But when you click the hole here, there is literally just a hole in her chest, and that's it. There is literally just a hole. <laughs> and that's meant to be a feature of the doll. She's got a massive hole in her, in her chest. Um, great. Anyway, <laughs> now I've shown you the box, I'm gonna take her out of the box. One good thing about these dolls is they're always super easy to open. They're normally not attached to the packaging very well. The background of the box looks kind of like Wonderland. So here she is in all her glory, Hannah Montana, well, not really, happy girl focus. And the first thing I have to note about this doll is, oh my goodness, the plastic is so thin um, and so cheap. She's really light and flimsy. It's probably one of those dolls where her arms will just pop off really easily. Um, her face, actually, funnily enough, looks very similar to Barbie, I would say. I, I feel like they may have stolen this sculpt from a Barbie doll. The fashions are not that badly made, I will say that. Normally on these dolls, literally, the fashion is like a piece of material. And the piece of material normally feels like paper. The material quality isn't great, but at least there's some kind of like nice detailing with the with the skirt, uh, and this top is quite nicely made. I mean, the patterns and the design, pretty bad, but you know. She definitely doesn't smell. I don't know what that smell thing was about. And if I lift up her top, you can see she just has a massive hole in her stomach, which is so bizarre. Her shoes are um, kind of cool. Her face is not awful. She's got sparkly eye makeup, which I quite like. Her hair is blonde and brown. I wonder if this is kind of like in reference to Hannah Montana again. And as per usual with these fake dolls, she's basically completely bald. This one has slightly more layers of hair than the usual. Um, normally it is literally just a ring around the top of her head. Like she's got some kind of weird comb over. <laughs> her arm just fell off. Oh no. 
That literally just went straight in the bin. <laughs> I wish you could have seen that. <laughs> So there we have my amazing fake Hannah Montana doll. <laughs> now let's move on to my fake Barbie doll, Beauty. I think the idea behind these dolls is that your grandma might accidentally buy this thinking it's a Barbie and give it to you for Christmas or something like that. Or you might be tricked to buying it online. Or maybe it's just a cheaper alternative for families that can't afford Barbie dolls. And there's absolutely no shame in that. Some of these images are literally just Barbie images that have been stolen. This bit down here kind of looks like the So In Style um, logo. It says Charm Girls, Sweet, Beautiful, obviously. There's some more stolen Barbie images. I actually recognize this one. This is the um, I Can Be Director Barbie. On the back, we have some more images of Barbie dolls. There's the Barbie Style Series dolls, and then just kind of like a plain Barbie in the middle. And then this was the bit I found a little bit off-putting about this doll. Down here, it says, Pretty girl, born pretty, fair skin, big eyes, small nose, full mouth, constitutes a natural beauty, beauty picture, or one word. That's not very inclusive, is it? I mean, this is just reinforcing like horrible beauty standards. Again, I'm gonna put it down to bad translation um, or cultural differences. Some of these things just sound awful. It's just not very nice, is it? Not very nice. Anyway, now I've shown you the horrible box, I'm gonna take her out of the box. And here is Barbie. She is obviously super cheaply made. Um, this one, funnily enough, has like hard plastic body and arms. Normally the plastic is like really thin and soft. A common theme with rip-off Barbie dolls is for the skin color on their head not to match the rest of their body. And uh, this one is kind of true. And yes, you guessed it, she is virtually bald at the back. I'm pretty sure this is just like a Barbie face sculpt that they've stolen. The dress is absolutely hideous and the material feels like paper. It honestly feels like wrapping paper, it's so awful. But at least they've added some detailing here, that's quite cute. And another common theme with these dolls is they never come with shoes. She's just barefoot. And last but not least on our tour of horrible knockoff dolls, we have a Elsa Frozen doll. On this doll, they've literally stolen the Disney logo, which is pretty ballsy. I really hope they don't have a lawsuit on their hands. It says here, origin origin of magic, um, three plus. There's lots of leaves, um, obviously, because Frozen 2 has a bit of a kind of autumn theme. It says, let's travel to an ancient autumn bound forest of an enchanted land. The grammar is questionable. Find the origin of the magic. And then again, they've stolen the Frozen logo, they've stolen some images of uh, Anna and Elsa. On the back, there is an image, um, the same writing is written here. They've got some stills from the film. And anyway, let's liberate her from her box. There are so many fake Frozen dolls in the world. Ooh, she comes with shoes. That's great, that's a plus. First of all, let me show you Olaf. He's really badly painted. His nose is like only half orange. It looks like it's been dipped in paint. And the paint job here is absolutely awful. And he kind of looks a bit vacant, doesn't he? Um, like a deer in the headlights. I feel sorry for this creature. And now we have Elsa in all her glory. And as I said, don't hate the outfit. She's got like a metallic-y blue jumpsuit on and a kind of coat, quite similar to what she wears in the movie. Obviously all the printed on designs are not perfect and the material is super cheap. She's got her typical braid. Obviously the braid is disguising, yep, you guessed it, a massive bald patch. Her face does not look that bad. It's quite well printed on. She looks pretty similar to Elsa in the movie. I'm pretty sure this face sculpt has been stolen. Also, her hairline on the back is so wonky. <laughs> her outfit is glued to her so that it won't fall down, which I find quite funny. Another common theme with fake dolls is insanely skinny limbs. And this doll is no exception. Look how skinny her legs are. And then she has these kind of cute little shoes with wings on. Um, I feel like I've seen these before. I think they might have been stolen from Ever After High. Let me know if you guys recognize these shoes. Okay, doll fans, so there we have it. I opened three new rip-off, knock-off, fake dolls, and now I'm gonna go and throw them in the bin or donate them to charity. Please let me know what you think of these dolls in the comments. Please don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check me out on Instagram, turn on bell notifications. Have a great week, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye. <laughs>